Okay, uh, guys, now let's talk about the credibility part of the deal and let's change colors. And, you know, usually actually I write with the smaller pen um, when we're planning it out, so I'll have more room, but you don't have to. It's just, I'm doing the bigger pen today, so it'll be real easy for me to show this to you guys. Um, so, in the credibility, credibility part, we are working on a few things like um, the idea behind this is that you are displaying your credibility, not like telling people that you're credible. Like a lot of people will do it through, um, you know, they just sort of claim and cry that they're credible and all this stuff. And I find that very off-putting, um, like and saying like credentials and all that stuff. I find that displaying your credibility by these little bit more subtle ways of doing it is a much cooler way to do it and smarter and all this stuff. So um, first off, and I would probably give like real thought to like the arc and I, I don't like, there's only so much time for me to, you I mean, before I lose you guys in going through this, but um, like you also like, like I wouldn't just throw, the, like I just threw these on here right now, but I would really give some thought to like the arc of what the week looks like because, you know, this is week one. I'm going to tell my origin story thing, then teach, then a this or that. I would really think about like how does that, I would like spend some time when I'm planning this, actually think about what does this week look like here? What does this week look like here? What does this week look like here? And what does this week look like here? Like I would, I would actually, um, like think through that, like, do, are there any things that I'm putting that would be very, um, uh, conflicting, you know, like you wouldn't want to put your rant posts and your vulnerability posts in the same week because it's too close together. Right. Um, and so same thing. It's like, if you're doing an origin story thing, I mean, these work together pretty well, but you know, there are times when it would be a bit of a conflict. And so you want to make sure that you're being, that, that the way the arc works and how, it's, how it sits um, flows well and makes sense. You know, you don't want to seem like you're manic or crazy. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> so a teach piece. Like, this could be something as simple as what I'm doing right now, where you get on a Facebook Live and start teaching your, your thing. Usually what I like to teach is is a tactic that solves one little problem, right? So it's usually like I come up with, this is again part of the deep work that you want to do in your business, is I come up with a bunch of like magic bullet things that I have. Like an example would be um, Dean Jackson's nine word email, which is, you know, are you still interested in X, you know, and you send that out to your list and it will, um, you know, cause people to want to, uh, you know, they, they'll respond yes, and then you get into this dialogue with them and turn them into phone calls. So, so you could teach those little things, like your magic bullet things, or you could teach something deeper. Um, but the, the idea behind the teach is that it usually, people usually go too long and they get boring, right? So I find that it's much better if you can teach your thing in five minutes or less, and then one of the things that we always do is we normally do have a call to action on a teach. And that's because we usually try to give away something that works with the teach. So like, for instance, um, Taki has this thing called the five dials. And it's like the five dials that you need to watch in your business to make sure that you're growing. And there's a five dials worksheet that he gives away. And then the call to action would be the, uh, the worksheet. And how we would do it is we would decide if we're going to give it away with mini chat or with the group. And so we would put, you know, worksheet group. And, uh, and so right here we would put, you know, five dials. And so then he knows on the first Wednesday of the month, he's going to teach the five dials on the video. He's going to call them, tell them, show them or tell them that he's got a worksheet they can have to measure their five dials. He actually did it. He actually drew it in the sand on the beach, which was kind of cool. Um, but a worksheet, and if you want it, then here's the link, and, it, and we put the worksheet in the group, and that way people join his group 
to do it, okay? So that's the first one, uh, first credibility thing is you're, you're displaying that you have like this, this magic um, IP that people are interested in. Second one would be a collaboration. And so like, um, you know, a great way to do this is to do a Facebook Live and then call somebody onto it with you and you guys do a Facebook Live together. And, um, <clears throat> and like everybody does podcasts and all that stuff, but like doing a good collaboration is could be as simple as you guys talking about business together, could be as simple as you guys, um, it doesn't have to be like this formal show, like I did one of these one time with a buddy of mine, and he had this, we were having this conversation over Zoom anyways, and he's like, hey man, why don't we do this on a Facebook Live and let everybody see us work through this problem, and so we did that, we, we like, you know, riffed and worked through a problem together, uh, on Facebook Live, and everybody saw it and loved it. And so, um, so in in that case, it was a content thing. So, so we were trying to figure out if uh, if he should do. Uh, in that case, it was should he do video or should he do live, and should he do it on his page, or should he do it on his profile? And it was like a, a you know a whole big thing. And that was, that was the thing that we did together, but it would be like, you know, it was a natural thing. But how I would list this in here would be like, do a collab with, you know, Todd Herman. And let's do it about, um, you know, like... I don't know, something that, that Todd is known for, like his 90-day year thing, I would imagine it'd be like batching or something, like if you're batching your year in, into, into four different uh, things or something. And, um, and the call to action could be just, hey, you know, if you're the one hosting it, then say, hey, you know, my buddy Todd here, great guy, go follow his stuff. And then likewise, he'll do the same for you. And you kind of get credibility with his audience because he's willing to talk to you and he's friends with you and um, and so on and so forth back and forth so that's a that's definitely a credibility thing um, the next one is behind the scenes and like behind the scenes is always great because you have scenes like most people don't uh, you know they're sort of like trying to figure out their thing and they feel like their stuff is woefully inadequate so if you if you show them like you can show them your mess ups, but you can also show them like your setup. Like, um, you know, like for me, I'll show people like me working on the boat and um, like how I have my setup on the boat with my podcasting mic if I'm doing that or, um, you know, those kind of things. Or sometimes I'll show them like how I might, you know, work at home or. I have an office that I don't really enjoy going to, so I don't show them that too much, but I can show them the people that are working in the office, or I could show, um, you know, ways that I work, like I'm in Southern California, so ways I could work, you know, in cool spots here. So there's a million things you could show, like if you have a cool, any cool thing that you do, or whatever, you could just sort of turn the camera off, like turn it off of you and turn it onto your stuff and, and show them behind the scenes of how you do it. And that's a big credibility builder because it makes you look like, one, you have like a real, even if, even if behind the scenes is like in your kitchen, you know, that will probably resonate with your audience unless your audience is like corporate CEOs. But if, you're, if your audience is people who might be working in the kitchen as well, then you can make your behind the scenes thing, hey, I'm able to run an X, you know, a, a six figure business from my kitchen and show the behind the scenes of that. And that's very powerful. So, so that's another good one. Then uh, last is a freestyle or, or ask me anything. And um, the, the power of this, it, it, I would always recommend do this on Facebook Live. I would also always recommend like email to your list and post to your group and anything and let them know in advance that you're gonna be doing it that time. And you just sit there for 20 or 30 minutes and just freestyle, answer people's questions. And this is a great credibility builder because it shows that you're smart and you can think on your feet and you really are an expert in your subject matter. Um, and so, uh, so that's a really good one. Again, you know, when, 
when you're doing it only once a month, then, you know, it's not that big a deal. So, um, so that's uh, the credibility piece here. We've got the character piece done. And now let's work on the connection piece.